Alright, example number four. Prove that cosecant squared theta is equal to cotangent squared theta plus one. So what we need to do here is convert. Hmm, what side do you think we should work with? Hopefully you're all thinking that we need to work with the right side. By working with the right side, we can convert cotangent squared theta to cos squared theta over sine squared theta, and that is using ri and qi. So a reminder again, y is cotangent squared theta equal, uh, sorry, cotangent squared theta equal to cos squared over sine squared. Well, think back. Cotangent squared, cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. 1 over tangent means the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent using qi is equal to sine over cos. So, the reciprocal of sine over cos is cos over sine. Cos over sine is the equivalent expression to cotangent. We used ri and qi to get that value. Now, looking at the right side, you will see that you have cos squared theta over sine squared theta, and then you have a plus 1. So, what we need to do, automatically you should be thinking that we need a common denominator. And you get sine squared on the bottom and cos squared theta plus sine squared theta on the top. Wow, you should see something happening now. What's going on, folks? Well, look at that numerator. Looking at that numerator, you should see something magical. That is equal to 1 over sine squared theta. The reason why it's equal to that is the numerator is using pi is equal to 1. So that the final answer, okay, now again, let's go back a little bit. 1 over sine squared theta, that was using pi, we got that answer. Now you should see, oh, I've seen this before. This is used in ri, reciprocal identity, the reciprocal of cosecant is equal to 1 over sine. So 1 over sine squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta using ri. And lo and behold, folks, look! The right side is equal to the left side. Yahoo! We got it! All right. One more example, folks. Example number five. Prove that cosecant theta over secant theta is equal to cotangent theta. We need to prove this. So, looking at the left side and the right side, which side should we do first? Hopefully, you're seeing that the left side should be manipulated first. Cosecant theta over secant theta should be manipulated using reciprocal identity as 1 over sine theta, that is cosecant theta, and we're going to change that divisor line, folks, because what we'll have is a fraction over a fraction. And that becomes this question really, really difficult to work with. So what you can do is change this expression to be cosecant theta divided by secant theta. So that you have 1 over sine theta divided by 1 over cos theta. Now, you've got two fractions. One more time again, cosecant is equivalent to 1 over sine theta. Secant is equivalent to 1 over cos theta. We use the ri twice. You don't have to write that times 2. It just reminds you that we used it twice, but I can actually take that away. The idea is as long as you used ri, it doesn't matter how many times you used it. You must state ri, though. Anyways, back to the question. We have two fractions being divided. Division of fractions says we can change the sign to multiplication and flip this. Well, folks, that means I have 1 over sine theta times cos theta over 1. Well, multiply the numerators and we, whoops, multiply the numerators and we get cos theta, multiply the denominators, we get sine theta, and what is cos theta over sine theta equal? Well, cotangent theta, because of qi and ri. Therefore, lo and behold, yet again, the left side equals the right side. All right, folks. 
just a reminder, I'm just reminding it by writing up there how we got that left side that we started. A lot of people were questioning that in class, so there it is written out. All right, folks, have a numerical evening. Get to work on your homework. Take care.